we're always talking about how things are constantly changing in the ad platforms, and this video is no different. While I was researching a different topic, came across an article from Facebook saying that some changes are rolling out to their detailed targeting, more specifically, the exclusions section. And that change is that you can't use the exclusions anymore. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, and my guess is that if you've been using exclusions in your campaigns, you will also not be a fan of this, but this is where we are. They've already made the announcement, and as of July of 2024, they're gonna be rolling out those changes. So in this video, I wanna give a little bit more of a detailed overview of what's changing, talk about how it's gonna impact your campaigns, and talk about what to do next. We're gonna start in the Facebook help section where they sent me once I found the notice that detailed targeting was gonna go away. So if we scroll down just a little bit, you can see here that beginning at the end of July of 2024, which as of the release of this video just happened a couple weeks ago, they're removing the ability to use detailed targeting exclusions. Now, they wouldn't be Facebook if they said that they didn't think that the change was going to help improve your campaign performance, but they do make it clear that you can still have alternate ways to restrict who your ads serve to, to make sure that you are focusing on just the specific audience you wanna retain. And then down below, they have a list of bullet points that's gonna be the actual rollout and effect of this change. You'll not be able to use detailed targeting exclusions in new ad sets. You'll also see a warning banner in your ads manager. If you're using the detailed targeting exclusions on any of the ad sets, they suggest that you remove that exclusion and then republish them. Moving forward for some of you who try to get a little sneaky, you will not be able to duplicate an ad set or a saved audience with the detailed targeting exclusions. And they even go so far as to say you won't be able to edit the audience if it's using the detailed targeting exclusions moving forward. Now, unlike some of the other changes in the Facebook ads platform, this last bullet I find really interesting. If you continue to use detailed targeting exclusions past January 31st of 2025, it says that your campaign will stop delivering altogether. Normally, when Facebook makes some changes to targeting, I think they kind of just phase it out but let you leave it in there. That's why you might see some detailed targeting options that have a little X next to it. You should remove it because they no longer exist. But if this warning is accurate, it means that you'll probably have some of your campaigns just completely turn off if you don't remove that detailed targeting exclusion. So you might wanna keep it on for a little while. The change does say that it's gonna take effect January 31st of 2025. I know many people will probably leave things on until then, but if you wanna make sure that your campaigns keep running past the deadline without any hiccups, maybe take the detailed targeting exclusions out a little bit earlier. Let's go ahead and jump into a live ad set, which just like many of our other live ones, I have to blur out some things, but you'll still be able to see what we're trying to go for here. I've gone ahead and selected an ad set in one of our campaigns already, because as that announcement said for Facebook, this change is slowly rolling out to a lot of accounts. I'm already finding that a handful of my accounts do not have the ability to still exclude detailed targeting users. So let's go through this a bit. I'm gonna scroll down to the audience section here. And the first thing I wanna call out was also listed on that help page, and that is custom audiences down here you'll see that there's an ad exclusion button right below the audiences that we're using in this account. This exclusion type will not go away with this change. You'll still be able to exclude specific custom audiences from your ad set because those are users who are in your specific audience. This is not considered the detailed targeting section, so this will not be affected. The part that's gonna go away is a little bit further down in this section. As you can see here, we have the detailed targeting options here. Have a handful of things that I apologize are blurred out, but I think if we start to put those in there, might give away who the client is, at least to the client. And if you're one of our clients watching this video, hello, we'll talk to you soon. The type of exclusions that are going to go away with this change, is gonna be this button down here, where you can add exclusions that then opens up. These are going to be identical to the targets that you have in detailed targeting, but you'll no longer be able to exclude them. So let's find one that makes some sense. Maybe just open up food and drink. How about beverages? So for this example, we would not be able to target people who like coffee and then exclude people who like tea. You'd only be able to target the coffee drinkers and not exclude the tea drinkers from your detailed targeting. Overall, it's a pretty simple change, but depending on how long you've been running Facebook ads, you're probably pretty used to utilizing those exclusions and this will be a big change for you. So the last piece we wanna talk about is what can you do to try and control your audiences. The first thing I suggest is to make sure that whatever you're using in your detailed targeting section is accurate. 
Facebook does at least start with the detailed targeting options that you have in place, but they've also been expanding beyond the detailed targeting interests, behaviors, and demographics for quite a while. We no longer have the checkbox that lets you decide whether or not you wanna expand beyond your current interest targets. It automatically does that for you. So there's already a little bit of fuzzy match going on in there. The removal of exclusions is just taking it one step further. So make sure you have whatever you're using for detailed targeting locked down and everything looks really strong and is focused where you want it. The second option is to continue leveraging these exclusions that we have for custom audiences. If you know you have a certain data set of users that you don't want in your campaigns, make sure you exclude them. Might not be as broad of targeting as you would like to exclude because you have to already own it in one way, shape, or form, whether it's a customer upload or the way they've engaged with your Facebook page, but at least it helps you control things a little bit. And the last type of control you have in your Facebook ad campaigns is actually going to be away from the audience manager itself. We're gonna scroll down to the placement section down here. Right now we're using all placements, but if we open up show more options, you'll see the brand safety and suitability controls. There are a few different types of controls that you can use, whether it's an inventory filter for Facebook in-stream and or the audience network. If you wanna upload block lists to try and exclude certain publishers from advertising your products, you can also use content and topic exclusions to make sure that you're staying off of in-stream videos away from high violence or not safe for work types of content. And these exclusions can be applied at either the ad set level within a campaign, or they can be applied at the account level. We come over into all tools and then come right over under manage to this brand safety and suitability section. And you can find all those controls here for the account level as well. Now I'm not gonna go too far in depth on any of these brand safety and suitability controls. We already have a handful of videos built out that walks you through them. And if you're interested in those, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. Overall, this change might feel like a loss of control, but it's kind of just an extension of what they've been doing over the past few years. We've already had the option to remove the detailed targeting expansion taken off. So Facebook's already been extending beyond your interest targeting for quite a while, whether they made it obvious or not. And with the introduction of Advantage Plus audience, they're using their machine learning just as much or more as they're using the interest targeting inputs that you start out with. Now, I don't like the idea of losing the control of the exclusions, but knowing that some of the interest targets are a little bit more broad, part of me kind of questions how accurate the exclusions were gonna be anyway. You can still utilize the audience controls and you can utilize brand safety and suitability. But the other option I would suggest, and this goes for any Facebook campaign, is to make sure that whatever conversion action or event you're trying to optimize for for each ad set and campaign has enough data to exit the learning phase and you're giving everything enough budget to be able to run and operate on a full scale. If you're interested in the Facebook learning phase, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But overall, that machine learning feedback loop is gonna be one of the things that improves your Facebook ad campaigns the best. And while this might be a headache to remove your exclusions, it's probably not gonna make as big an impact as we might think. So don't forget the cutoff. You might start seeing this removal of exclusions happen in your account sooner rather than later. But if you don't have these detailed targeting exclusions removed by January 31st, 2025, your campaigns could stop running altogether. So make sure that you've got everything updated so that your campaigns will keep running even past that date. If you have any additional questions about this change or anything else in the Facebook platform, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.